way less effort Cause when you try hard Radiant Team Ban. All right, here we are back into some more NA Dota Team Elite ban. League action. We've got Pretty Boy Swag, of course, they just tagged it up as that, versus Kleck Kleck Blue Blue Blue. Uh, we'll just call that King Bush's lineup. Um, it looks like uh, Mr. Potato faced Balba there. Uh, for that some reason, it wouldn't let me start really the lobby good. without teams applied, which is that new? I'm not sure. Because Five I've seen plenty of NEL games without uh, the names of teams attached. But either way, um, we started the game. I'm Helium here casting on Neo Dota now. And we've got some bands. Well, let's go over the teams first. We've got Peter, Tyzilla, Misha, Fogged, and Ryu Boris here. That's the Pretty Boy Man. Swag tag there for the Dire. King Push, Clairvoyance, Demon, I Annihilate, and 1437. And that will make up the Radiant. And now on to the bands. We've got the Visage, so... Looking to uh, maybe simmer down the aggression and that aggressive trialing with the Visage ban. Soul Assumption very strong. OD in the mid lane. Boring hero to play. Let's be honest. And very strong in the mid lane. Can carry really hard and snowball out of that lane. So they ban him out. Uh, King Push bans out the Bat Rider. So sticking with that still. Uh, even though Abaddon was left in the pool. As well as the Naga. So that tier 1 support. Visage as well as Naga both taken out this game. So maybe looking to see something a little bit different. As Pretty Boy Swag, they go for that Elder Titan first pick. Uh, pretty versatile hero. Can go mid, can go off lane. That's where we see him the most. Although, he can be a support if you really need him to be. And he can even farm in an aggressive trial lane. Those are a little less common, but he's a good hero overall. Astral Spirit and Natural Order uh, are pretty good trial lane versus trial lane spells. Uh, you get more damage back from the Astral Spirit. It's AoE. It's going to hit everybody. And the Natural Order makes all the other magic do more yeah. damage in that lane. So we don't see him there a lot, but I feel the need to explain picked. myself and why I think he's okay in trial lane versus trial lane. As Dire more picks come out, we've got Darkseer, the tier 1 offlaner, of course, going to be picked up first. Still a first pick. He's remained a first pick for as long as I can remember uh, inside of Dota 2. So... Still, going to pick up first, Darkseer, as well as the Weaver. Uh, we'll see if King Push will take that Damn one, as he is drafting for the team right now. And Peter goes with the Nyx Assassin. In the lobby, he said, I have a feeling Five this game's going to be remaining. hard. So, we'll see. This looks like it could be potentially the best game of the night. Um, pretty Reserve evenly matched, time. I think, on both sides. I see Ryder Boris up here in the stream chat there. Twitch.tv slash Neo Dota. If you're watching a game and wondering where you can check out the action, that's where it's at. Uh, a lively stream chat, to say the least. Uh, very fun. And anyways, waiting on some more bands coming out now. What's Peter want to take out? Maybe some uh, some supports. Vengeful Spirit. You see it a lot with Weaver, but is, does it really warrant the ban? Who knows, they're actually going to be targeting some mids right now, Radiant some more team. early aggression heroes uh, that Storm Spirit will be taken out. And now over to King Push. It uh, looks like they do have the support, so maybe just, probably just going to target some mids, or maybe some supports. Okay, banning out the Bane, very good against Weaver. Uh, you don't want to get Fiends gripped, and you don't want to get Enfeebled in the laning stages, makes it hard to get that CS. And of course, Fiends gripped is going to be online before you have your Lincoln, so there is that window where Bane can just really really shut down your weaver and you don't want that to happen so they ban it out as the troll warlord now takes the fall they don't want to give king push that troll warlord again not that it was necessarily an incredible performance by king push he did play well but uh that aggro tri lane against it just wasn't really good the kill potential not quite there troll able to just run away Ten seconds um, remaining. but yeah still don't want to give it away it's an annoying hero especially uh, with Weaver, that Radiant Battle Trance makes him pick. very, very strong uh, for a split pushing or even in a team fight. Battle Trance. It's very good as King Push bans out that Nature's Prophet. So no one wants to be bothered by uh, any push or split push, taking out the Troll as well as the Nature's Prophet. Now it's time for that third pick. Oh. They're going to go with another support, so they pick up Rubik, Dire looking to take this defensive. Uh, Darkseer is one of the best offlaners, so why not put him in the offlane? Likely where he is going to go. And let's see if they pick up some, maybe some more range. Pretty Boy Swag could aggro into this. Uh, but as of right now, they have a pretty solid defensive try lane in the Radiant works. As Marana's going to be picked up. I've said many times Peter likes this hero a lot. 
and he will pick it up here third. So look for that to be a defensive tri-lane farmer. Could be mid as well. Orana, very versatile hero. As the tri-lane just got even more defensive, Abaddon going to be the fourth pick. So Abaddon Weaver, normally you see that as a 1-2 pick, but they managed to get themselves the Darkseer and still complete the Abaddon Weaver combination. Swag, focus, I guess mid-heroes uh, with the Troll and Storm bands. They leave in the Abaddon and now he's picked up here this late. So the Radiance lineup looking very strong Ten right seconds now. seconds remaining. And everyone wants to see Peter carry for some reason. Five seconds I've seen remaining. him play the Murana a couple times. Reserve time. Uh, it's now coming here for the fourth pick. Pretty boy swag. What will it be? Oh, frame. What song did you want? Sorry if I haven't been looking at the chat. Postman shows up in NEO occasionally. I've cast him a couple times. Uh, but of course he shows up as my stats man Enchantress. quite often. Radiant team man. <laughs> uh, Enchantress picked up. One of my favorite heroes. Yay! Sproink. Enchantress, the fourth pickup. Pretty boy swag. Peter probably going to play that one. We see him on the Enchantress a lot. So it is a support, but it's a support that Ten can get an Ags with a Mask of Madness and become a damage dealing machine, which is why I think she's really fun. Can get two creep before level five, unlike dire Chen. So if bad. they are in this defensive lane, which they will be over on the dire, uh, Marana, Nix Assassin, Nix Assassin gonna pull, get that fast level six. Enchantress when they when the time is right, probably at the three minutes thirty second mark, do that single pull. I guess at three fifteen, double wave with the siege unit, and go ahead and take down Radiant one, maybe two towers pick. as Enchantress with the the creep from the jungle into the lane. will help out a lot with the push, of course, as uh, King Push himself bans out the Bounty Hunter. Shout out to Yugi's Bounty Hunter earlier. I don't know if he's in this game or watching, but uh, he played a sick Bounty Hunter a couple games ago. Gonna be banned out here. Not necessarily because of him, but uh, I guess it could be a good pick there with the Nyx Assassin. They do look to need an offlaner Elder Titan, should Ten be mid, remaining. and Swag. They also take out a mid hero. They take out the Puck. So everyone more Five worried about that team fight control than just the burst damage, because Quap very rarely picked or banned these days. Reserve time. Yeah, drops should be working on stream and in game if you've got yourself an NEL ticket, as you can see up here. It is a ticketed lobby right now, so hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys get some items, because I don't have any. And yeah, don't forget that, as Falcon pointed out. Your Twitch account must be linked to Steam as well as owning the NEL ticket, which isn't hard to do. When it first came out, Twitch pretty much spammed that nonstop uh, to alert you to sync your Steam account, so that's on you if you haven't done that yet. Waiting for the fifth pick, though, what's it going to be? They do need a mid-hero, so thus the Puck Band. Who are they going to pick? Quap, still available. Uh, Razor, still available. DK, available. Who even goes mid these days? I don't know. Who does well against Elder Titan? DK would do alright. And it would be sort of another core hero to rely on into the late game. Uh, uh, relying on Weaver alone, I think, isn't really a good strategy unless you you really have the teamwork to be aggressive early and bring the heat. And they're actually going to throw Timbersaw into the mid lane. Should do alright. The Astral could get a little annoying for him, but if you balance uh, some creep attacks onto your reactive armor... Or even get a bottle. I think Timbersaw is going to do fine. Um, yeah. Should be a fun mid lane to watch, actually. Timbersaw versus Elder Titan. Or maybe they pick Quap now. Throw Elder Titan into the off lane. Because Quap will actually decimate that Timbersaw in the mid lane. That would be a pretty good move, I think. Of course, your Elder Titan will get a lot less. Ten but let's see. Remaining. It's their last pick. Um, they won an off lane Five or mid here. Remaining. So, yeah. Either, either way. Queen. They do it. They go for the Quap. Timbersaw's like, oh, why did we risk that? We left Quap in the pool. We picked up Timbersaw. And yeah, Timbersaw not happy to see that one. We'll see if they try to maybe swap the lanes around a little bit as Ryu Boras, of course, Pretty Boy Swag's mid player, going to pick it up. Postman, getting into it right now. Uh, 
waiting on the hero picks to come out here. Maybe. Uh, to answer who is King Push, I actually don't know. I guess I can look it up real quick once we get in-game here. So let me look that up. Some investigatory journalism here. You really should prepare for battle. It's actually Demise, so... Okay, now I'm excited. Demise, he's a good player. I've seen him in NEL quite a few times, so it is Demise that is King Push. And we will introduce the team. So over for Pretty Boy Swag. What? Okay, guess we're remaking. Oh, sorry, everybody. Didn't mute the mic. That typing. I'm skilled. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. All right, teams are applied. All right, we're back. It has been remade all pick. Do not fret. The items will drop on all pick, so we're good to go. Not in game or not. Now we're good to go. As the picks come out, so get this game started. So the biggest recent news in the game, I guess, is the Quap was picked up last. Timbersaw could be having a tough time in the mid lane. And yeah, that, I think that's pretty much where we left off. We were just about to introduce the teams, and now we're finally back into another all-pick match. Once again, I'm Helium, now casting on Neo Dota. So, hope you guys enjoy. Of pain. <laughs> Enchantress. This league is a little unprofessional sometimes, but hey, it's an in-house league and the ticket comes with a disclaimer, so whatevs. As we do get over to now introducing the teams, I don't even know why we disconnected last game, but uh, we do have Peter, as I expected here, playing that Enchantress here for the Dire. We've got Queen of Pain, that's going to be Fogged going top lane for now, maybe expecting Timbersaw to be in the off lane, trying to find that matchup, but it is... It will be Darkseer, so I don't know why they would really switch Darkseer out of the mid lane. Uh, anyways, Misha will be going off lane here on the Elder Titan. Supporting up top is going to be Tyzilla on the Nyx Assassin. And Ryu Bor is going in mid lane right now on the bottom. Who would probably fare a little better there in that uh, safe lane. We'll see if they want to rotate the lanes quickly this game. As I don't know why Weaver doesn't have a health bar on my screen. It seems a little, it's a little intriguing right now. <laughs> um, that's a helicopter. I may be being bombed. And right, we'll just let it pass. Apparently I live next to an airfield.
and it's gone. And we do have another pause, a lot of people drawing on the map. We'll just take this time, we'll still just introduce through the pause. So we've got Clairvoyance playing that Darkseer, heading into the offlane for now. We'll see if he decides to go into the jungle. 1437 on the Rubik. We find a Weaver with no health bars. Still not sure what's going on there. Uh, I Annihilate supporting up on the Abaddon there in the bot lane. We'll see if he's supporting the Weaver, who we find now. I guess he was like midway spawning, so it said that Weaver was picked, but it wasn't in the game. That's going to be Demon. <laughs> on the weaver and that's not something you see every day in terms of that health bar bug and king push that's demise will be in the mid lane here on the timber saw versus a marana for some reason I, i'm not really sure why i mean marana shouldn't die you've got the leap to get away and the burst damage isn't really going to explode battle. until level six but Quap just does so well uh, but they do have fogged playing the queen of pain in that top lane i wonder if they'll try to switch it really early on and yeah, I, this is probably going to be my last game for the night. I know I mentioned the ticket giveaway. I do have one to give away. I'm just not sure about how I want to go about doing it. Uh, but we'll stop streaming. Or we won't stop streaming. We'll stop the games uh, for now. And we'll just give away that ticket. And then we'll be back tomorrow. I think uh, Mount is going to be handling the primetime NEL casting tomorrow. So uh, we'll try to give one away after this. Good movie. Yeah, we'll probably just do that one. Hiding, pressing W with the Astral. It's pretty annoying. It's Misha as well here. Team Chibusa. Cast them a lot in Sivo, uh, which I should be covering uh, as a part of Neo Dota. So make sure to check that out. Registration's still open for that, by the way. Sivo.com. There's an in-game ticket as well. So make sure to check it out. Starts up on the 21st, I believe. Maybe the 18th. Registration ends on the 17th. But uh, otherwise, we're here in NEL. If you don't already have the ticket, there will be... A giveaway after this somehow i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it maybe we'll ask for support and then uh of course if you don't win that make sure to buy the ticket it's 4.99 as we do get into the game the lanes will clash we've got demon here uh, should be okay they could probably leave him in this lane as well as the supports look to maybe roam get some kills on the mid lane there's not a lot of damage between a rubik and an abaddon though early on uh, or even ever really uh, but they could potentially gank the bottom in the mid lane. Who knows? Timbersaw does have the burst that they lack if they rotate to the mid lane. Try to take out the bottom. So maybe they will look to do that. And up top, we do have Fogged here. Just farming it up 7-2 and two as Darkseer. That was a clairvoyance, I believe. Just opts to go into the jungle and uh, farm up some stacks. So we'll leave the off lane. Of course, the threat of the Enchantress is looming. Uh, Tizilla on that Nyx Assassin. And Fogged, he's a ranged hero with Burst, so he can just take down the Ion Shell creep, counter push any of the Ion Shell damage. So he's not going to be all too effective in lane, so he just opts to have a better start for himself in the jungle. And that's fine, that's what makes uh, Darkseer a really good hero right now. And always, as Demise in the mid lane. Does have the bottle up already. Ryu Borez doesn't have one yet. Did it? Oh, he did get pulled that regen. Goes for the Wraith Band. He must be having a hard time. Six last hits is all. As we see and Timbersaw 11 and 3, and I just don't understand why Quap isn't in the mid lane. I think that would have been much nicer for them. Radiant's top tower is under attack. <laughs> yeah, so mid lane not working out for Potom. As expected, I guess, Timbersaw, a very competent laner, can use Whirling Death to last hit, can push the lane. Uh, has a nice animation, hits for 61, compare that to... Just 59 there uh, on the bottom, so crappy base damage on that hero. But if it didn't have terrible base damage, I'm pretty sure it would be a tier 1 uh, ban and pick every single game. It's it's really strong. The burst damage uh, in the mid game. Long range arrow coming in, trying to maybe set up a snipe here as uh, he runs for the rune. So why not use the bottle charge, throw an arrow. Maybe it lands. Maybe you get a CS if it doesn't. As Misha looks to be getting maybe zoned out of the bot lane a little bit. He's level 2. Trying to approach level 3, we've got Peter in the jungle here on the Enchantress. Farming up nicely, 20 last hits right now. We'll see when he wants to go and push. He's got a Wildkin, so maybe clear some stacks to get that CS this high. And he's already level 4, almost level 5, and it's just 3 minutes. Checking in with Darkseer, same thing, and he's clearing stacks. So yeah, looks like they must have cleared a Wildkin stack uh, on this Enchantress as he continues to jungle. Maybe he just wants to hit a quick 6, get that uh, impetus online. It's a lot of damage, even early on. You don't kill that Enchantress. Enchantress suddenly picks up a double, maybe a triple kill, and then she's got an Ags at 20 minutes, and uh, 
you find yourselves calling GG. But we'll see what happens as Fog continues to farm in the top lane. 22 and 4 right now. Uh, so second for his team, fourth overall in terms of farm, but they're all pretty close there, the top four. It's actually Clairvoyance leading, uh, but again, jungle creep stacks, not quite as much as it looks like 1437 and I Annihilate maybe want to roam as Potom will activate this uh, Invis rune and then it quickly break out of it. 1437 though, on top of the rune spawns, so we'll grab the illusion rune in the bottom lane. Bottom rune spawn. Maybe looks to be uh, going around. They want to dive Misha. 1437's coming behind. Demon's acting like nothing's going down. Uh, but will probably throw the Saguchi in now. Is he coming? I don't know. There he goes. As Misha looks to drop. Just needs the Saguchi. Demon doesn't have time lapse. The wands keep... Oh, he does get the first blood. The tower, though. Will it bring him down? It does. So he draws the first blood, but he dies for it as well. The wands almost came up big. If it just gave him a little bit more, he probably could have lived through it. And then uh, up... Top lane, we see Fog here destroys the tower. They do push the tower right when you would expect that in between four or five minutes they had that first siege of the game doing work and they had a nice uh, double wave as well. As you might expect, looking to push that wave. And they didn't even need the Enchantress. I don't think Enchantress even went into that lane as we see Misha now level three and a half. So in terms of the offlaners, not doing incredibly well, but of course there is Peter to sort of make up for it. Misha attack. just needs those levels, but he could be in trouble here. Clairvoyance comes in. Three points in Ion Shell. It's up to level five. So Misha trying to juke through the trees. Candy has got a magic stick, but it's not going to do much. Doesn't even opt to use it. Clairvoyance picks him off there as he just continues to farm. So gold just being fed to him. And meanwhile, we've got Boots and the bottle up coming out to Clairvoyance. Working on that mechanism after that, I would assume. We've got Peter still supporting pretty hard. Uh, farming very well as we see he's actually first for his team right now uh, buying wards up and some smoke so supporting hard has the boots no early urns or anything not too worried about moving around the map just yet and man does that shockwave look so cool now as demise level six has that burst damage the chakram is online and the XP is, is pretty even here in the mid lane. This CS, however, 34 to 22. Uh, Demise getting the better end of it. Looking to fight Ryu Boris here. Although the Timbersaw getting pretty low on mana will force out a leap. As uh, Ryu Boris maybe looks to get the bot rune. It is double damage. No one has uh, got it yet. As Nyx Assassin up to level 3. Maybe would expect a little bit higher. Seems like he's been getting some lane XP and pulling, but... Yeah, Weaver has rotated, leaving 1437 in the bot lane. They want to give him a fast 6. In terms of XP, the Dire... Yeah, I'd expect them to be very far ahead, and... They... Wait, what? Really? They're down? Oh, right. The Radiant. No, the Radiant. Sorry, the graphs are backwards. Yeah, the Radiant with that lane switch. Way ahead in XP right now. And, of course, their offlane of the Darks here doing very well. Jabusa's minions, Misha, taking uh, some hits on the XP. Only level 4 at the moment. Arrow goes out. Will connect on to Clairvoyance on the back side of things. And yeah, he's gonna drop. Misha cleans it up. That's nice. Level five, soon to get level six. Another point in natural order is gonna be really nice for him right now. As uh, okay, the gold graph going a bit crazy there. Uh, maybe back down to even, but the XP also back down to even after the dire come up with that kill. Misha gets all the XP. It was pretty much all him on that graph as he gets the kill up to level six now. And yeah, the graph turns around quickly right back to equilibrium. As in the bot lane, Misha could be in trouble. Ryu Boris will land an arrow. Let's see how far Demon wants to chase this. Maybe trying to get a double kill. Let's see. The Gemini goes out. It's not a Gemini. Let's see what level it is. Uh, it's just one. He's going for the swarm build. But hey, Demon picks up another kill. Two and one. 1437 got up to level five. Almost level six. And we're not even at eight minutes. Uh, and yeah, after that kill, we see Elder Titan six and a half. King push in trouble in the mid lane. No impetus to follow. If it followed off the timber chain... Would have been finding yourself a dead timber saw. Meanwhile, in the top lane, my camera work. A little sketchy on that one. Clairvoyance, though, will drop. We see the tail end of the sonic wave going off there. Able to clean up Clairvoyance, which is nice. He's uh, really high level. One of the highest in the game. Level 7 behind a couple 8s. And actually, Fog just hit level 8 off of that kill. So he was up there. And let's see. We're not quite at 10 minutes, so we'll stick on the last hits for now. As uh, Abaddon looking to do some rune controlling for the Radiance. Uh, there's pretty much been a support at every rune for either team and Demise. Gonna go ahead and bottle that one up. That's gonna be a really nice rune to have. He's just gonna go ahead and Timber Chain back to mid. Radiance Miss less XP. And we see Ryu Boris at 31 CS to 43 on the Timber Saw. So he's doing really well in this lane. Definitely winning it. Even a level ahead right now. As he has popped the regen to head back into the lane.
Let's check in with Peter. He's yet to really do anything. We saw him almost get a kill on Demise with a, a long-range impetus. But for the most part, he's just been sitting in the jungle. He's 0, 0, and 0. I don't believe he even helped with pushing down the top tier 1. But hey, he's got treads. He's buying the wards up sentries and a smoke. So he's supporting hard. And yeah, I don't know. The game is still very close. The Dyer actually taking a head on the gold. Slightly XP right back down to normal. Or zero, as we see Misha here being chased out of his offlane. He did get to level 7 after a solo kill that he picked up, which was pretty nice for him. But let's see, lots of action in the mid lane right now. Timbersaw is here. Misha looking to go down. Throwing out the chakra, maybe. Lands the la the timber chain onto the one tree that is there. Curious as to why it is even there. Maybe to block the vision into Roche. But uh, let's see. 1437 could be in trouble. The Aphotic Shield goes out from I Annihilate. Well, we'll say 1437. Suddenly, it's 4-4. Four, four. Here comes Peter. Drops the sentry. Out of the range, though, is Demon already. And they're going to have to back off that. So it looks like Elder Titan will drop. Maybe for nothing else. Starfall will hit twice. I think 1437 stole it and also used it. So they trade kills there. Uh, Rubik will go down, but so will the Mirana. Fogged picked up that one kill. And he was able to get out of there running away under the Moonlight Shadow. But Demon... Not so lucky for the Radiant. Will get picked off. Misha once again just slapping him in the face with that damage from Astral. Peter picks up a kill on the backside of that. So when it was 4-4, four, four, it was a pretty even fight going into it. Uh, the Dire managed to pick off quite a few more. So well done to them. Uh, Peter now 1-0 and 1. So involved with two kills in that team fight. As we got Clairvoyance going for a Midas here at 10 minutes. So Midas, Darkseer. Basically, you do really well when you farm for the first, uh, I guess, 12, 15 minutes. But after that, you're pretty much a five-man Dota hero. You're with the team. You're not getting much. If you pick up that Midas early, that allows you to still get some of those late-game items later in the game, believe it or not. So, uh, because your farm is slowing down, at least you'll have the Midas uh, to also keep up in levels and gold while you're grouped up with the team waiting for some five-man Dota. So that's pretty much the reasoning for the Midas on Darkseer. He gets it here maybe a little late, but hey, it can still work out. We'll see what he wants to go for. Or if is anyone else rich enough to go for that mechanism? It doesn't look like anyone else is, so Clairvoyant's still going to have to pick that up, but competent player, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. 1437, impaled up. A fire shield to save his life. Miscoil as well. Tizilla could be going down. Misha wants to assist. Throws an Earth Splitter. Will pick up 1437 on the Elder Titan, who is now 4-4, four and four, looking for another kill. He denies with the miscoil, so nicely done. The items go out for the denial. Buyback by 1437. It goes 9 to 5. The 1437 with the Fade Bolt almost able to pick off the Nyx Assassin there, but not quite. Now stunned up. He will stay alive, Tizilla, with the Salve. And uh, even comes back in for another stun on 1437. Fogged able to clean that one up. He's going for an Orchid, as you might expect here. Got the Treads as well. Uh, who's still left over here? It's Demon right now, trying to get out of here. Uh, let's see if he can. No, Misha will clean up the Abaddon with the Astral. And then there's another stun coming out from Tizilla's Nyx Assassin right now. Able to get Demon down on the Weaver. He's taking quite a few deaths right now as Fogged almost goes down. But Demon is 3-3. Three and three. Demise comes in, maybe tries to take out Fogged. Demisha getting pretty low, should be careful. Peter, meanwhile, saying, ah, I'm good. Has Treads, has a point booster. He's tanking up. Uh, he's also got a lot of mana throughout these impetus shots. And looking to push a tower on his own, but will be forced back. But look at that harass. 162 damage coming off that impetus. Good spell. Arrow comes in from Ryu Boris. Will it connect? No, just barely misses I Annihilate on the Abaddon, who is not level 6, only level 4. So the way to shut down an Abaddon, don't let him hit 6 and kill him as many times as you can before Borrow Time gets online. Um, I would say it's probably the best way. I mean, of course, a Phytic Shield, even if you keep... Abaddon at level 1, a Phytic Shield is going to be pretty good, uh, purging off those stuns, Radiance or any debuffs for that matter. Even Dust, some of you may think it wouldn't do Dust, dust but it does, but it does everything. Bottom tower is under attack. Meanwhile, the bottom tower here being pushed into by the Radiance, so the Dire Tier 1, not really too threatened by this push, it's just a Rubik and a Timbersaw, none of them. They can clear waves pretty fast, but they're not really going to be getting the towers as safe-ish lane. Uh, yeah, Demon has died quite a few times, although three of the five top net worths now are for the Radiance. Of course, Quap way out in front by about a thousand. That's Fogged at 5,300. Uh, then we find the Radiance Demise, 4,500, 4,300, 4,100. That's Demon's Weaver, even with three deaths. Arrow to go out 
won't hit. And then we find Peter, a support, or I guess a utility jungler in this case, uh, at 3,800 on the Enchantress. And then the offlaner was having a really tough early game, gave up one or two kills early on, and then got right back onto the board. Now he's 5, 4, and 2 as the net worth. I mean, it's pretty close between most of the people in this game besides those three hard supports. And uh, maybe Fog to pull in a bit away there. As we should probably just keep that tab up now. It is 14 minutes into the game. 12 to 5. The Dire lead by 7. As there's a pickup in the mid lane, Ryabors could be in trouble. Demon is there as well. The Swarm to go out. Can he dodge it? No, it's going to latch. 1437 blinks forward. What more of a spell could you ask for? And trying to get denied. Won't get denied. I think the Ancients went for the bug, maybe, as 1437 cleans it up with the last hit. Meanwhile, King Push could be in trouble. Might wanted to have cleared that path a little earlier. Tried to get out. Will get out. Clairvoyance comes in as well to land the hand. Mana Boots and Midas on that Darkseer. Weaver also went for Midas. That's Demon. Uh, every time he plays it here, it seems to get a Radiance. But either way, Clairvoyance in a trouble. King Push coming out. That's Demise with the damages. The Ion Shell as well. Trying to get Tizilla. Meanwhile, Fogged comes in the back line. And Demise will drop. And uh, here is Fog looking for one more. Looks like Potom went down um, yeah, at the Ancients before that started. So that fight in the bot lane is 0 for 2 um, for the Dire. But of course, Potom did get picked off. So in, in, in essence, a 1 for 2 trade uh, favoring the Dire. As we've got Demon here picking up a regen. He's got that Midas. He will get knocked off. Misha wants to 1v1 him again. He's down for it. He hits like a truck, about 200 right now with just one hero on the Astral. And Demon gonna try to TP out. Will he get out? He will indeed. The arrow not gonna quite miss, or not gonna quite hit, as he did TP just here. Of course, the Astral and that arrow, that would have been the kill. Barely gets out of that. I think Amisha may be being flamed a little bit, as the Universe says. This game is so quiet. It really is. Oh, TPing right into the arrow. Arrow. Uh, no quick fingers for the Spike Carapace there. But couldn't have done much, and that arrow doesn't really do much either. It's just, hey, I hit an arrow. Get your hopes up uh, when you're playing that that Rubik. You know, playing Rubik, shooting out arrows. Of course, this is all made possible by Ryu Boris's Potom. And how is it doing? He's looking for another pickoff with an arrow of his own. He's got Faze, he's got Aquila. So not a whole lot. Uh, I Annihilate now is level 6, so bar time is online. They might want to go ahead and try to get this clairvoyance. They're going to see him right here. Vendetta Strike, arrow as well. That's everything. The Impale going to be thrown out. Starfall. Must be very Gonna hit twice. Riot Boris picks it up. Fog is there as well. Top tower is under Looks like a wild kid is somewhere on the map here with that tornado. Is it just chilling in mid lane? He got that tornado pretty far. It's doing work. Only 8 seconds left on the channel as they go to a tier 2 push. That's a pretty good arrow. It does force out a borrow time. They may not know it though. Uh, but let's see, they force out Borrowed Time, it's a pretty good time to fight for the Dire right now, as they do look to continue to shove here against the Tier 2. They haven't lost a single Tier 1 tower of their own, by the way. Meanwhile, the Radiant are missing top, they're missing bot, they're missing mid, and their Tier 2 is taking a damage. So the Dire seem to be pretty far ahead in this game. Going over to the grass, the force really that the game emerges, about 6k on, on both charts, the gold as well as the XP. At the 17-minute uh, mark, uh, we are approaching, and a bit of a kill lead... Eight right now. No. Yeah, eight. No, nine. Math. Math. Anyway, team fight. Math is hard. Uh, Demon could be in trouble. No. Peter could be in trouble, actually. Flip that around. We'll drop the sentry, so he could maybe try to 1v1 something. There's another sentry block in the way, so Demon gonna have to run through them all, but where's the backup? It is coming uh, from the back, believe it or not. Misha will be able to dodge the arrow thrown out from Potom. Ryder Boris has one of his own. Let's see if he wants to let it land. Misha gets thrown back, fade bolted to drop, uh, but actually Demise on the Timber Saw will go ahead and clean that one up. As Tizilla, dewarding party down here on the bottom rune spot. Meanwhile, uh, Ryder Boris, he's in Viz. These are dire sentries, so he should be okay. The Abaddon, maybe not so much. The arrow will land on Tizilla, actually, and he's going to drop. That's a double kill for King Push right now, so very well done. has uh, fogged. What is he looking for? It's looking for Demon, who is very low on that Weaver. I don't even really know how he got there. He doesn't have much. He's got a hand of Midas, and he's been fighting and whatnot. He's still 3-3, three and three, so hasn't died since he picked up the Midas, I believe. 3-3 three, three, and 1. We'll see what he wants to build into next. We'll pick up the Void Stone, so maybe looking to go to that Perseverance into the Lincoln still. It's going to be really late if he does. And he is that one roll carry for the team right now, so that's also... Not a good position they find themselves in. 
uh, over on the Radiant. As it looks like the Radiant are being forced back behind their 2 2 tower. The Dire continue to push and keep up the aggression. Uh, we still have Fogged way out in front in terms of net worth. Uh, Timbersaw here at 5,800. Fogged on the Quap at 7,800. So a 2,000 lead over that. But here comes the Moonlight Shadows. They initiate into this nice Vendetta Strike there by Tyzilla. Takes out the Rubik. That's 1437. Arrow flies. Barely misses the Abaddon. So they only get one. Being pretty aggressive now. Still under cover of Moonlight Shadow. Tyzilla looking to get a nice stun. There's the Earth Splitter from Misha. Lands on Demise. Can he get out of here? Looks like the Abaddon is going to be enough. The wall now drops. Clairvoyance's wall on cooldown and no longer in play. It was only level 1. Fog goes in on the backside of this. Will pick off the Abaddon. Wants to get King Push as well. Demise will drop. I'll try to stick with the same name. But uh, sometimes I just read what I see. But that is Demise on the Timbersaw going down. They get two more kills. And they should be able to go ahead and get the tower off of this one. Glyph of Fortification is going to be online right now for the Radiant. If they need to use it. If we check in on Ryu Boris, he's got a Blade of Alacrity. Could be a Yasha, could be a Diffuser. We'll see. Fogged has the Orchid going for the BKB right now. Tyzilla, Mana Boots, Urn. Phase, Drums, as you might expect. Going for the Mech there is Misha for that team. As uh, we know, Peter's not doing it. He's pretty close to the Axe. He has the Axe finished right now if he wants it. So that's going to be huge. He hasn't had a big impact yet. He's 1 0 on 3, but he's about to. As Demon tries to get out, will get out. Just a little bit too long of a cooldown left on the Scream of Pain. Even with the Orchid damage, going back to base, Demon won't pop and able to live out of that one. So still, I believe, sitting 3-3-1 and one after picking up that Midas. As uh, now the map control dwindling for the Radiant. They have lost their own jungle. They've lost their mid-tier too. They're really down in towers. They don't even have one of their own right now. And Demon calling it the Patience from Fogged. 5 0 and 5 is fogged right now on that Queen of Pain. Just what are you and yeah, it looks like they're going to go for Roche. Peter, he's got 4 points in Untouchable. I don't really know why he's even tanking it with the Centaur. You can just do it with yourself. Uh, because, of course, that uh, 110 attack speed reduction does work on the Roshan. Of course, anyone who plays Enchantress, very aware of that. As here comes the Ags out now for Peter. So they're not really even worried if this is contested. A good Chakram and a Whirling Death. Could be bad for them, but uh, there's really not a lot of team fight. The wall, vacuum, of course, but uh, not so much setup for it as it is 18 to 8. 10 kill advantage here for the Dire. Gold Graph, about where it was a couple minutes ago, leveling out over the last maybe 5 6 minutes. Still 5 to 6k advantage in the gold XP departments as Tizilla. Gonna go ahead and Vendetta right out of this. It's level 11, so now he's got 35 seconds to try to decide and do something. His target may be Demon. Let's see how fast his fingers are. Here comes Tizilla now through the trees. Demon could be in trouble right now. And yep, indeed in trouble. Where's Fogged coming in with the Orchid? He actually throws the Orchid onto... Interesting decision. Throws it onto the Abaddon. Maybe thought that a Photic Shield would still be enough to save. I don't think it would have... I guess it would purge the Orchid, so... Alright, there you go, Fog. The patience from Fogged. Uh, as he will look to get Demon. The nice sleep there by Misha. And Demon. Does he have a time lapse? No, he's already used it. The wall goes down by Clairvoyance, though. Beautiful onto quite a few. Demon's still alive. Barely. And let's see if Fog can get him. He's got the Aegis. He doesn't want to waste it here. There goes the Scream. Now Fog or Demon is coming in to be aggressive, but Fog blinks away. Demon now needs to find Amisha. Able to get past the wall as Enchantress will pick off Demise there in the top lane. But they do uh, find somebody. Some creep as well as... Uh, yeah, just creep. Fog though going wicked sick. Will pop the Aegis now. They take out Clairvoyance's Dark Seer down the bottom. Uh, a little bit before that, Demise went down on the Timber Saw and still trying to chase Demon. Th this fight's been going on so long that Demon has time lapse again. He's able to use it. He's got a Perseverance. He's looking towards a uh, Ultimate Orb, but he dies again. Elder Titan Misha takes it out. This guy's suck. This guy sucks. I think is what he's trying to say about Weaver. Well, probably because you always seem to build a Midas Demon. As a Tizilla, maybe will go down, will go down, double kill for Misha, but 1437 with the big Fade Bolt. Mana Burn as well, pretty nice spell to steal against that Queen of Pain, but uh, yeah, Misha with the triple kill right now. Genji, uh, a player here in NEL, picking up an item as Demon buys back to die again and calls the GG, and if that is indeed the GG, which it probably is. I'm Helium, now casting on Neo Dota here, going to be covering some NEL. Uh, Sivo and SE, the Sunday Evening Cup Series as well. 
Uh, so look for me on the channel. Uh, I think Neo Dota is going to have a secondary channel for me as well. So I hope to see you guys around. Make sure to follow and subscribe to Neo Dota. You can follow me on Twitter at FMBP Dota, Fast Mouse Button Pushers Dota. I'm going to be changing that pretty soon to Helium TV or Helium Umbrella uh, as my full handle online. But uh, either way, make sure to check it out on Twitter. Uh, should be a good time. And yeah, we'll keep the stream up, and I got some messages on how to do the, the giveaway for the ticket, so I'm going to keep the stream up, and we'll see what we can get done with that giveaway. So stay tuned for that, but this is going to be the last game of the night from me. Of course, Sergeant Jackson, as well as Weed Man. Definitely a less serious cast, but they're pretty hilarious, so check it out if that stuff floats your boat.